Hey, welcome to the 101. An extended look at how we do human skin. Now, there's other types of skin, demon skin, monster skin, scales, so forth and so on. We'll be covering that in future episodes. But this week, we're just going to concentrate on how to do human skin. So, hey, let's go take a look at it. Okay, here we have our test subject here, and as you can see, it's a barbarian. If anybody can tell me where this barbarian comes from, you get a gold star. Now, we're, we've got a base coat on here, and so don't uh, pay attention to the rest of the model, but take a good look at the flesh, and it's just put on with a base layer of Kesev flesh. Now we're going to take this flesh shade and the one thing that we want to make sure that we do is really move this around. You know, it's okay if it bleeds over into his his uh brown his brown cloak and stuff like that. But if you really look, it 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 it, it sits in there with gravity and what happens is this all just kind of sits there. And we want to go over it. And we want to take our time and just work it all the way around him. And you can see I'm just taking and moving it around his face. Making sure that it gets into all his... Now this is a very, very old model. Like I said, if anybody can tell me what this came from... I'll be shocked. Actually, I wouldn't be that shocked. But I'd be... Whoops. I'll make sure to edit that out. I wouldn't be shocked, but I'd be quite surprised to see if you guys know exactly where this guy came from. Because he's an older guy. And you want to get every bit of the skin. You're not worried about getting on the brown because, you know, later we would shade that anyways. But we're not going to do it for this exercise. All we're doing is working into the grooves of his face, making sure that we get the crook of his neck, his forehead, into his abdomen real well. You see how I'm working that into his abs so that it gives him definition, like he's been to the gym or killing a thousand things. There we go. And now all of a sudden, he looks a heck of a lot different all of a sudden. He looks a little more lively. So we're going to let that dry. And we're going to come back. So there we go. So now that the wash is uh, completely dried, all you want to do is take the base color again and just not get in the recesses, but actually go over the high points. Like in his abdomen here, just take the high points and bring it out. By doing that, it'll give more definition to the character. As you are seeing. Then you want to kind of work the bridge of the nose. Now remember, we're not talking about doing faces today. Or making faces but we're talking about the skin in general so his eyes and stuff like that that's for another another episode what you want to do is just get near the chin the high points in the cheekbone taking that wash and and making it work even harder by just getting in there and rubbing that around a little bit his forearms not getting in the crease of the arm, his bicep, if this was a little more defined, it would be a little bit better. But just coming around, his upper thigh, you kind of want to keep some of the definition here. So you just kind of want to lightly hit the high point so you get the quad too. Think how a human looks and just kind of work the paint around. You don't want to do his knees, you just kind of want to just see how his thigh is right there. And all we're doing is just putting a nice watered down layer, you know, one to one with the water mixing the paint. So we get a good 
coat in there and you can see how his abs are starting to come come in there now this high point right here come down around anywhere where you see that that the uh, the wash is very settled uh, just on top of the wash his rib cage here you can just go along and just add these in and you can see the difference right there just by doing that little bit there you want to make this a little more uniform it's okay doesn't have to be perfect but it still brings out his knee there we go and that pretty much takes care of our guy here so it's just a very simple procedure by just number one putting on your your layer coat or your base coat of flesh then going over it with a really good wash waiting for that draw wash to completely dry and then going back over with the layer to highlight and bring out the musculature by doing this you bring out the entire model and you can see now all of a sudden he's got abs he's got a facial expression and we're, we're not even painting his face yet so there you go that's how you do skin fingers that's another thing I'm sorry you want to get up here you want to get the top of the fingers you do not want to get in between and take away that that wash and it's as simple as that so that's it for this episode of extended let's send it back up top so that's it for this week's of extended as you see we covered on how to paint up human skin and how to do all the layers and build out and uh, really kind of contrast things and work things and I'd love to see some of your work as you guys try to do it yourselves and don't be afraid it's just a matter of layering and taking your time and enjoying what you're doing and if you make mistakes I'm very easy to find Right here, you can email me at novaprime860 at hotmail.com. That is my personal email. It's the only email I have. And um, I'm not afraid for anybody to email me there. Uh, and some of you have already known that. I've already helped you through a couple things. And that's what I'm here to do, is to make a difference and get you guys to do so many different things. Uh, last week we didn't do much gaming, but this week uh, I'm hopefully going to get into it. And don't forget on Thursday nights, every Thursday night, I'll be painting a new painting, hopefully a lot better than the last one I did, uh, on Canvas Stories. And I believe this Friday, Sam and I are going to do a live or taped playthrough of Imperial Assault, where at the end we pack it up, get it ready, and then whoever wins it at the uh, Vassal... Uh, foundation uh, auction wins and don't forget to bid on the three things that I have up there I have forbidden stars and two blood rages that I will be doing and painting why I volunteer I'll never know uh, and I think that covers about everything new games day which should hopefully there'll be some games coming out that I actually get um, nothing really exciting came out that I wanted so um, with that said, I will see you guys next week as I'll be tackling a new topic. We'll talk to you soon. Have a great week.